Hey folks, welcome back to uh, what's going to be the final installment in the restoration of the Mr. Roberts Billiard. And you can see we're, we're getting very close. So I have uh, done the contrast stain on the pipe. Um, it's not showing that well right now simply because I haven't uh, buffed it yet. But it is uh, at this point sanded up to 600 grit and it's pretty much ready for the, for the buffing system at this point. Uh, the stem is mostly cleaned. I did a little bit of work reshaping the button, uh, widened out that slot a little bit, uh, just trying to make it a bit more comfortable. And you can see we got most of the oxidation off. There's still a few spots like right down here at the, the junction and some right around the button that I need to work on, but we'll get to that. Uh, the next step is to adjust this stem so that when it screws on, it's, it's screwed on straight. So to do that, um, we will separate the two parts. I'll put the stumble aside. And we will use two tools. One is pretty simple, a pair of pliers with some uh, somewhat ancient electrical tape around the, the ends to keep it from marring anything. Uh, that's really just to prevent the um, you know the lines in the pliers being transferred over. Uh, so it's just a little bit of give that it has. And we'll use that to grab onto this and, and allow us to turn it. And to heat it, I have here a, ooh, sorry about that, um, just a, a, a heat gun, a simple, non-adjustable, straight shot heat gun. Try not to knock the camera this time. So I'm going to go ahead uh, and heat this up, and then I'll show you my attempt to turn it. And just to make sure I've got this right, let's put it back in the stumble and think through this for a second. So, we know that it's turning too far in this direction. So what we'd like to do is move it back like so. So to do that, we actually want to advance the screw a little bit so that it tightens quicker, or, or before we get to this point. So to advance the screw, that's going to mean turning this in a clockwise fashion as we're looking at it. Okay. So I'm going to heat it up now and then uh, attempt to turn it and hopefully show you that. And of course I'm going to edit out the heating part because it's going to be boring. So stand by, I'll be right back. Let's see if we got that hot enough now. Nope, not yet. Okay, let's see if that's hot enough. I think I felt it slip a little bit there. Okay, so we'll give that a second or two to cool down. You can see the heat's actually bringing out some of the remaining oxidation around the uh, the stem there, which is kind of interesting. Got a bit of water here that I'm going to dip that in to cool it down. And that just set things more quickly for us. And let's see if we've done what we hope we've done. <laughs> yes, we turned it the wrong direction. Okay, live and learn. And let's see how this goes now. I do believe that turned, so we'll put that in a little bit of cool water now. Hopefully I had that in the shot, I wasn't looking at the viewfinder. Okay, that is cooled off. Or largely cooled off. Perfect, so now we are way off in the wrong direction, which is what we want. So now we're going to reheat it screw it back in and then we can bring it to its final position. Okay, so we've got this hot now. Uh, I think I actually overshot that a little bit, didn't I? Nope, oh, that's good. That's good. That's nice and tight. Could go a little bit further. Yeah. <laughs> so 
Now it's, it's hard to tell if I'm tightening it or if I'm just going off in a bit more water. And let's see. Sorry that the dog's barking there, the neighbor's mowing their lawn. They should know better than to mow their lawn when my dogs are on. There we go. I think we've... Yeah, that's, that's nice and tight now. Can't go any tighter. And that looks just about perfect to me. Yep, I'm happy with that. Much better than it was. Pretty much lined up with the, uh, the top, so... We just tighten it casually, which is of course how the user is going to be tightening it. It's a little bit under, but when you make it tight, it's it's. I don't want to make it too. Yeah, it's it's within the ability to adjust it by tightening here. So I, I think we're we're in good shape now. So that's it. I mean, to to adjust these, you simply heat them up until the glue loosens, and then and then rotate them. That's simple. Okay. So next steps. Um, I am going to, uh, actually I'm going to retort this because I do that with, uh, I don't do it if I'm refurbishing a pipe for myself unless I think it's going to be needed, but for pipes that I'm, uh, I'm giving away or selling, I, I always do the retort. It's just nice to do it. It lets the person know that they're, they've got a fully clean pipe. So I'll retort it, uh, then I'll finish up the uh, last few steps here. And by the way, if, if, you, if you're not familiar with retorting, I've got a video on that and I will link it. Uh, you should see the link coming up. Um, the stem has already been mostly cleaned. I didn't do a real good job around here, plus the heat's brought, in, brought out some of the additional oxidation, so I'll need to deal with that. And there's a little bit of oxidation around the button still that I need to deal with, so I'll continue to clean those up using uh, micro mesh pads, get this ready for the buffer, and then we'll buff it. So when we come back, we should, uh, we should have a finished pipe that's ready to go. So I will see you shortly. Well, folks, we are officially done with the restoration of the Mr. Roberts billiard. And I think overall it came out uh, quite nicely. So uh, since last you've seen the pipe, I've given it a, uh, a triple retort. So the internals are uh, very clean now, and it's pretty much ready to smoke. Uh, the pipe was stained, as you saw in the, the previous section. Uh, beyond that, I have just buffed this. So I buffed it with the, uh, let's see, the Red Rouge, the White Diamond, and uh, then some Carnauba Wax. And I did an additional bit of work on the stem just to clean up some of the oxidation that was apparent right around this junction and some right around the button. Uh, and uh, then, then buffed the, you know, put the stem back on, buffed everything together. So uh, I, these steps have all been sh uh, seen in previous videos, and I will put a link up above if I haven't done so already to uh, to my stem cleaning video, so you can see the process that I would have gone through here. And I still someday have to make you a buffing video, so I owe you that. Um, I think overall the the, the contrast stain worked nicely. Um, the grain, as we've said repeatedly, is not anything classically beautiful, but there is some you know really neat looking bird's eye in there. Uh, some rather wild looking stuff down there. You know, it's, it's got interest and I'd rather have interest than rustication. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, there's the, the new top which you know came out very nicely. So all in all Mr. Roberts is ready to go off and make someone happy. So I hope you enjoyed following this series. Uh, hope you learned something. If you have any questions about it please uh, feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to, to answer them and help you out any way that I can. And if you're a subscriber, thank you very much for that. I really appreciate you following along with these projects. If you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see uh, additional things like this, please go ahead and hit subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything. And uh, by all means, feel free to like and comment. I, I would love to, uh, to, to get your, uh, your questions, your opinions, suggestions on how to do this better. They're all very, very welcome. Uh, so with that, I'm going to sign off. And until next time, I will look forward to talking to you again very soon. Goodbye now.